My name is Kyla Pere. I'm the Education Consultant for Presentation Products, and I'm going to show you how to use object animation within Smart Notebook software. First, I want to show you where you can find the object animation option. If you're familiar with notebook software, then you're familiar with the side tabs. Up at the top, the very first one is the Page Sorter tab. The second one is the Gallery tab, Attachments tab, Properties tab, and the last one is the Smart Response tab. Object Animation is located within the Properties tab. Right now, when I select on the Properties tab, you can see that I only have two options, Fill Effects and Page Recording. In order to get object animation to show up in your properties tab, you have to select an object in the work area. So I'm going to select on the purple box. From here, you can see the object animation is one of my options. So I'm going to select on the tab. Down below, you can select from type, direction, speed, occurs, and repeats. I'm going to select type first. With this particular one, I'm going to select spin. From here, select direction, clockwise or counterclockwise, speed, slow, normal, or fast, occurs either when the object is clicked or when the page is entered, and then repeats, none until the object is clicked, forever, once, twice, five times, or ten times. I'm going to select twice, and now to test it out, just click on your object. There are a lot of different ways that you can use object animation within a notebook lesson. I'm going to show you a few techniques. Uh, the first one is a spin and fade out to provide feedback. This is a great technique because you can have a question on the page and then have two separate answers, one being the wrong answer and one being the right answer, and have animation to give students feedback. So with this particular one, are the numbers even or odd? You have a set of numbers and these are obviously even and you want to provide feedback showing that that's correct. So we're going to select on the even triangle. We're going to select the properties tab, object animation, and for this particular one we're going to select spin. We're going to keep the direction as clockwise, the speed normal, occurs when the object is clicked, and then we'll allow this one to repeat twice. For odd, we want to add animation to it as well, but with this one, since it is the wrong answer, we want it to fade out when the object is clicked. We're going to keep the speed as normal, occurs when the object is clicked, and then repeats none. To test these out, just click on your two different objects, and students are able to see that the even is the right answer and odd is wrong. The last one that I want to show you is a fade out to reveal notes. Um, you have additional directions, click to the right of the green box, so we want to click actually on a white box beside it. This will fade out and reveal uh, the additional information behind it. Same technique, we're just going to click on the white box, click on the properties tab, object animation, and we want it to fade out. We're going to keep the speed as normal occurs when the object is clicked and then repeats none. Again, to test it out, just click on the object and we can see that it works perfectly. That's all the time that I have for today. If you're interested in learning more about our SMART training and professional development sessions, please feel free to contact me. My email address is kparay at pproducts.com or you can call at 212-736-6350. You can also visit us on our website at presentationproducts.com. Thank you for joining me, and good luck.